What's up, everybody? It's the Roundtable Sports Podcast. We're in week 17, looking at the historic day from Derrick Henry versus the Houston Texans. And with 2,000 yards in sight, Derrick Henry took a hold of this game and ripped it a new one. And if you see the runs that are successful, clearly up front, he was just running through people. But watch the Texans get the edge set on them a bunch of different times in this game, and then Henry will break it off. Now here's the big one. Oh, he just missed him all up front, and then he pulls away from people from the Texans' secondary. That's big-time speed for a man when he's rumbling and stumbling. It's really rare for a man that size to move this well, and that's why you're seeing Derrick Henry able to do the things he's able to do, and he's really propping up the running back contract market at this point because he's one of the few ones that has really been worth the extension he signed. It's also partially because the Titans embrace this as their identity and truly feature Derrick Henry in a way that isn't all that common around the league anymore. You still see it a little bit, but man, Derrick Henry is one of the few ones that actually is able to get that role and run with it. You know, he had the fifth best rushing season of all time. 2,027 yards is certainly something to write home about, putting him between Barry Sanders and Terrell Davis. Those are staggering numbers and great company to keep, no doubt. And certainly the big day today was a big part of that. He's going to be a top draft pick next year. The only thing I have wishes for Derrick Henry on is that I wish he was a little bit more involved in the passing game and they threw him more screens and got him out on the edge with that a little bit more. Hard to quibble with a guy and a team that really does what he does, but still, it was still just the 37th best season overall as far as scrimmage yards. So I'd love to see him more involved in the passing game, but hey, when he's able to do what he's able to do, Tennessee's dangerous. We'll see what they do against Baltimore.